Hello there, Brick Stackers. This is Chris. I'm coming to you today with a uh, Lego run. I don't know how much of a haul it's going to be. I'm going to go check it with some Walmart uh, discounts, big lots, things like that. Uh, you just got through watching clutches, bricks on the dollar, uh, Target, massive haul, and uh, I had to get out and see if I could blow some money real quick. So probably not a good thing to do, but I'm going to get out today. Been inside all morning. Um, I'm recording this on a Saturday. Uh, I don't know when you'll see this uploaded. I'm a little backlogged on, on videos, but I'm going to um, come to you in clutch style driving down the road. But I'm doing it safely because I'm watching the road. i got my headset in so you can hear me and I hear all the road noise from my truck. And uh, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And you're going to see, some of y'all have been asking where I live. Uh, this is what you see. Nothing but trees. And if I wanted to right now to use the cell phone, I would be hard up to find a cell phone signal right now. I'm so far out of the stick. So, uh, <clears throat> much to some of you belief, I do have pavement out here. See, pavement. All right. But anyway, I'm going to cut it short right here. Uh, I'll turn it back on when I get to the stores, let you know what I find. And I'll see you in just a minute. All right. <clears throat> Made it into big lots. And I was looking at Lego for Chris's haul the other day and he told me the, where these were in the store and this is what I came to get. It's four dollars. I don't know why it's not too clear in here. I mean, the lighting is not very good in here but the uh, place is packed so they're probably gonna think I'm crazy talking to myself but I'm only gonna get a couple of these. Those tiles look really cool and the minifig itself I think I could sell so anyway so I'm gonna Look around a little bit more. Three, four bucks each. I'll be right back and find something else. All right, I am now leaving Big Lots. They only had one. They only got one item, and that was a DS case. And uh, they hadn't put out any more of those games that were on clearance since last week I was here. And I'll show you real quick. I am in a dump of a town, if you can see. And I'm driving off what it looks like out here. It's uh, the sun's probably in y'all's eyes and you can't see very well. But this is a very run down Delta town in Mississippi. And uh, good for me in the fact that nobody else around here buys Lego. Uh, bad in the fact of a lot of the stuff is damaged on the shelves as far as the cartons, trashed, stolen, uh, like Clutch says and bricks are that when you go to lower income areas like this, that a lot of times you have an opportunity to pick up more items on clearance because nobody else has cleared them off, but you gotta be careful and make sure that the packages are not ripped open and minifigs stolen and stuff like that. Uh, and this is just generally a pretty bad town. I was born and raised here, um, moved away. It's 30 miles from where I live now. Uh, but for some reason, where I'm going to now is Walmart. There's only two places in town that have, one place that has Lego is Walmart. I'm not counting big lots because it's so sporadic and it's just clearance items. They're usually not worth much, but Walmart here has a very bad problem with things getting stolen uh, from employees robbing them blind. I've had several problems with this store out here uh, and it's trashed. And a lot of times, oh, there's a cop holding me with my phone down cop right there so uh, let this cop go by before I put the phone back up so I don't want to get a ticket <clears throat> now uh, but anyway this is not the safest city it's not as big as Philadelphia or Atlanta but nowhere near it dear God it's so small but uh, per capita wise it's a pretty rough little town uh, so um, my next shot to you will be if I'm inside Walmart, I'll show you some clearance items there. And this Walmart has had the same items on clearance since August and they haven't dropped the prices down at all. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if I get here and there's nothing really marked down since the last time I was here, but I do want to come check it and um, have a day to get down here and look at it. So I'll be back with you in just a minute at Walmart. All right, I'm back at this Walmart. I picked the wrong day to come here. It's the what second of the month and very low income place a lot of people are on public assistance so it's place is packed 
they all got their checks in yesterday and apparently doing their first of the month shopping. So it is packed and kids running wild like heathens. So I'm going to show you real quick some of the clearance section. They got a little black thing set up out here, a little black table with some clearance items on it. <clears throat> There's some more called color carrier breakouts. I've got about six of those parted out, two or three that I haven't parted out. I've got a bunch of this 9473 Goblin. Uh, mine's Maria. I've got a couple of those I haven't parted out yet, so I'm not going to get those right now. Air 54. And then there's the Battle of Helm's Deep. I've got two of these. And they're 90. It's not that good of a deal for clearance. It should be more than that. I bought mine cheaper than that back in August. And that's a pretty good deal. Weather top, $40. That's pretty good. I'm going to look up on my phone the part out bags here in just a second. But here's what I wanted to show you. I mentioned in a Lego haul last week. <laughs> Pharaoh's Quest. This is a 2010 or 11 set. It retailed back then for 29. And this is how they try to get you in on clearance. The box is crushed and it says on sale for clearance 29. Bull. It's the full retail. So apparently it's been sitting in the back for about two years. I don't think these are really on sale. I don't see the sticker on this one yet. Here it is. Some nine bucks. And off for wise. It's not a good, very good part of it. It's to make it worth it. I thought about these. And there was three here last week. And I don't know if there was some laying around here somewhere else. Or somebody actually bought one. Log cabin. 355 pieces. You won't get any minifigs worth anything in there. But it's $9. $8 off is $21. So, I hope y'all can hear me. There's a lot of folks around here. I don't want them to think I'm crazy. So, that's the regular. Here's the twin jet. It's $20 off. But I don't know if it's worth me getting it. <clears throat> so, I'll turn it off right here. And I'm going to do some research on my phone. And I will let you know what I got. So, see ya. It's not really enough to make a Lego haul. I'll just put this in as a vlog entry. How about that? Anyway, uh, I showed you when I came into Walmart the clearance section. They didn't have anything for me to justify purchasing because I've already got every set up there except that log cabin, and it didn't have any minifigs in it to recoup some of my cost because my brick store, Bricklink store, is still young, and I need to grow parts. But also, as Clutch and Brickzar said, you know, try to concentrate on sets that have many things that you can get most of your money back out of while you build your part selection up. So I chose not to go with the log cabin yet. Uh, it was only on sale. For, I mean, it was eight dollars off. It was, it was decent, but it was right at doubling your money parts at part at value. So it wasn't big enough to go for. So I'm going to show you real quick while I'm in the truck, you know, what I did get. So again, at uh, Big Lots, I showed you the same thing Lego for Chris picked up. Uh, I'm going to flip my phone around here and show you this real quick. Okay. This is the Nintendo DS uh, armor case. It's got the Obi-Wan Kenobi minifig and the tiles that are printed. I mainly wanted to get one of these. I'll probably would just keep one from my son and sell. Maybe put one on eBay or something. But I wanted these. These little, uh, I don't know what you'd call them. I'm going to say stands, display stands. They're, they're pretty cool. I like how Lego for Chris used his. So I got two of those. They were $4 each. And then I went to Walmart and, like I said, I didn't get any sets. Got some supplies. And uh, I don't know if I can flip my phone around. I'm recording from uh, face. Let's see if I can do it like that. Nope, not yet. But anyway, um, as you can see right here, hope my there it is. Color cut me in. These are craft organizers. They were in the bead section of the craft section. They are bundled, cross bundled. You see how they're bundled in a pack of three? Now I don't know if they're supposed to have been sold individually or as a pack. But I picked them up off the shelf like this. They're only two fifty, and I don't know if they'd, the employees here were supposed to cut them and sell them separately. Uh, I don't know. I didn't second guess it. I've been screwed over by this Walmart so many times. They owe me so much money on broken pieces and missing pieces of things I've bought. So I know it's probably the right thing to do. But heck, she rang it up, and it's two fifty for all three of them. 
Now they're not as quality built as those other ones I got on clearance, and I'll show you those. Uh, I've already showed you those in some of the other Lego hauls. But these are 18 compartments. I'm gonna try them out for some of my pieces that have a lot of different colors uh, and light of like styles and stuff like that. And then I also picked up some more of the uh, craft bags, little bead bags, and that's where I put my minifigs in, smaller parts. And this is where I put the bigger minifigs in that have you know larger accessories like the horse and stuff like that when I sell them. So I picked up some more of those and got some more Reese's and I picked up what I think to be the Scarecrow. I don't have him. This Walmart just got the Series 11. They didn't have it last Saturday when I was here and this Saturday they've got them. So I'm um, going to hopefully have the Scarecrow for my personal collection. And if it's a duplicate of something I'll sell it. But I didn't have a whole lot of time to fill all the bags. That was like the fifth bag I picked up, felt it, and I think I felt the, the hat of the Scarecrow. And so I'm going to run with it. So I had to go and get out of there. It was getting too crowded in there, and it was a store you do not want to be in at night. All right, so I'm going to cut the video off here. I'll get home and edit it, upload it sometime this week when I get a faster internet connection. And I won't make this an official Lego haul. I'll just call it a vlog. So see you all later.